Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing, man? It's Anelli here. Hey, what's going on, guys? How we doing? Back with Franchise Mode, okay? Episode 3. Um, I have been thinking about trades pretty much ever since I got off the last episode, okay? A uh, couple things. I got some questions for you guys. We've got a couple things we have to do today, and then we're going to play. First question is... Um, do you guys like when I player lock? What I'm thinking of is just picking a different player and player locking with them throughout the season. I know one or two people said to just play the game realistically, like the whole lineup, but that could take forever. I don't know if I want to do that. I'm thinking it's probably better just to pick a player. That way the game only takes a couple of minutes. But give me your thoughts, okay? All right. Um, I've got some trade things. I want to know what you guys think about this. I kind of want to make this trade right now. Um... But let me know what you think. Okay, I've got two trades in the works that I'm thinking of. The first trade is for Matt Olson at first base. He's an A potential. He's 84 overall. He's 25 years old. He's making no money. They want Mackenzie Gore. They want Trammell. And they want uh, Naylor. Okay, so three young players. But again, I'm getting Matt Olson. I'm getting control of him for a long time. He's not making any money. I think I might do that. Then in left field, I'm thinking of Joey Gallo. I'm thinking some big time power. They want, I can do that for for Hunter Renfro, for uh, Lucchese, and for Castillo, all right? So I don't mind losing Renfro. He strikes out too much for me. I know I'm getting Gallo who strikes out a lot too, but Gallo's power is ridiculous. He's got like a 99 power, okay? Um, so I'm thinking of doing those two. Uh, Gallo's another guy. I think he's arbitration eligible maybe next year, but still I got him for like four years. That'll give me another two guys at a really low salary. And uh, and then I'll be able to I'll be able to sign even more guys in free agency. So those are the two trades I'm thinking about doing right now. Let me know what you think about those trades. I've looked into some other trades. I looked into uh, Schwarber. Looked into uh, Jock Peterson. I thought that they're they're getting paid a little bit too much money. They're not asking for very much for either of those guys, but they're both getting paid not a lot of money, but a little bit more money. Um, and then who else did I look into? Castellanos. I looked into him. He's a free agent, though, after this year, so I'd only have him for one year. Not going to do that. Uh, Michael Conforto. He gets paid a little bit more money. I'm not asking for much for him either. I could probably get him pretty easily. 78 overall. And then, um, let's see. I like Muncie. was looking into Muncie, but I think they're asking for a little bit too much for him also. Okay? So, that's what I'm thinking of for trades. Let me know if you guys think of any other trades that you want me to do. All right, we got to do a few things before we play, and then we're going to play a couple games today, okay? The first thing is I need a bench. I have no bench, so I need a utility guy. First guy that comes to mind when I think of a utility guy is Eduardo Nunez because he can play shortstop, second base, third base, and outfield. So I think I'm going to sign him right now. I don't want a five-year deal. I just want like a one-year deal. Let's hopefully he takes this. Don't pull a Scooter Jeanette on me, please. Just take this. You're going to be a platoon player. You know you are. That's the type of player you are. Oh, boy. A longer contract. Let me see if 2.5 will do it. Okay. Um, maybe two years. Okay. That's fine. If I need to trade him, you know, he's a good guy to be on the bench. If I need to trade him, I'll get rid of him if I don't like him. All right. Um, so now I've got one bench guy. I think I could use one more. But for now, I think I'm just going to go with that. Actually, you know, I'm thinking I might sign Scooter Jeanette too. And then, um, what did Scooter want again? Five years, 31 million. He's still, he's, wow, he, he was not asking for this much not that long ago. Now all of a sudden he is, huh? Let's give him two years, 11.2. I don't know why I've decided to do this, but I'm going to do it. I need another guy on the bench. I'll move Brandon Phillips someplace else. I'll probably, I might trade him if this works. Okay. We got Scooter tonight. All right. The last things I want to do real quick is uh, I need a trade. So I've decided. I was looking through this. I want to trade Adam Warren. All right. He's making uh, $3.3 million, 76 overall C potential. And there's two free agent pitchers that I like more than him anyway. So I'm going to trade him. And uh, I was going through here, Arizona. So I was able, a lot of, I, I wanted to get a prospect back. And uh, there was a couple of teams that were willing to give me some prospects. The best prospect I could get 
for him was way down here, but he is a B. He's a 19, B potential, shortstop. He's pretty horrendous right now, but he's only 19 years old, okay? So we're going to make that trade. Basically just to... There you go. I just want to get rid of Warren. And then uh, I was teammates with Adam Warren, so I'm sorry, Adam. But And then who else was like, oh, I wanted to get rid of... Uh, I was teammates with uh, Craig also. But 35 years old. He's not happy. It's cost me $2.5 So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to get... Uh... Oh, man. I forget what team I was working this trade for. Now we're going to have to look through this for a second. So I had some type of trade where I was getting uh, Javier and some other guy. But I don't remember who it was now. So now we've got to go through here real quick. we got to look for Javier. And there was another guy with like a really long... That's the guy's name right there. Okay, hold on. They, tr they changed up the trades. Ooh. I got a B catcher. A B re relief pit. Oh, I kind of like this. I think I'm just... Ooh. Ooh. Two Bs, a center fielder and a right fielder, both 20 years old. Uh, yes, I want to do that. Thanks, twins. I like that trade more than this other trade I found. Okay, now we need to free agents. I need two relievers. I don't know how to say this guy's name. How do you say this guy's name? I'm going to assign him to a, uh, let's see if he'll take this right here. Done. That was easy. And I need one more reliever. So I was thinking, oh, now that I look at it. So we got Rosenthal who throws hard as hell and with a filthy breaking ball. Lots of K's, walks. He's going to walk a few guys. You know, but that is really... Uh, hmm. What's 5.6? Let's see what happens here. I'm going to go one year deal. I'll give him 2.9. He wants a longer deal. Yeah, I don't feel like doing that. What's this guy got? This guy doesn't have great stuff. Ryan Madsen's got a little bit better stuff. He's 38 years old, though. You know what, I'm sure there's some type of market for him. You know what? I'm going to give it to him. I've got the money. I'm going to front load it. Okay. All right, so now... Oh, now I got to... Do I got to get all those guys in the freaking big leagues now? Oh, boy, yep, we got all that. Okay, so now, relief pitchers. You've got to be put on the 40, man. And then we've got to move you to the MLB. And then you've got to be added to the 40, man. And then you've got to get moved to the MLB. And then who else? I need uh, Nunez. Jeez, Louise. Nunez, add to the 40 man. And then you've got to get moved to the MLB. And then the last guy is Scooter Jeanette. Add to the 40 man. And then move to the MLB. 
Okay. So now the pitching rotation, we're going to put in, uh, use my setup. I got two setup men now. I guess that's fine. Whatever. And then Rosenthal, Rosenthal middle reliever. Okay, cool. All right, so that all looks good. Now I need my lineup real quick. And what are we going to do with this lineup? So... Alright, Brandon's kind of a waste now. We're going to play... What's he hit against lefties? 76 and 35? Yeah, it's not worth it. I'm playing Scooter. Scooter's going to play against everybody. I'm just going to trade uh, Phillips. I won't do it right now, but we're going to trade him. All right. We're good. And then Nunez. I'm assuming they'll put Nunez in. I don't have to do anything, right? They'll put him in when they feel like he needs to go in, when someone gets tired. So I think we're good. Next things I have to do, we already talked about first base. Olsen, Hosmer's going to be gone soon. Gallo's going to be here. Renfro will be gone. Still got to trade. Still got to probably trade Myers. But we're going to give him a little bit more time, okay? All right, guys. I think we're good. Let's, uh, let's play a game against Michael Waka. The Sod Poodles have 27 players on their roster. Okay, Sod Poodles. Let's go down here to the Sod Poodles. Oh, we got to move one. We can move one guy up. And then we got to cut one guy, it looks like. Or I can just send someone down. Oh, this guy. Just move him down. Yeah, go down there. And then I need to... Uh... This guy's 28 years old and double A. Wowzers, who is this guy? He's a deep potential. He's 34. Who is this guy? Release this man. Just get him out of here. All right, we're good, guys. We're going to, uh, we're going to player lock. What did that say? Hold on. Oh, 10 minutes. Let's, uh, let's do, uh, Manny today. I would like to player lock on Manny, yes. Wowzers, look at all these moves. GM Matt Antonelli is not messing around. He's not a long-term investor. He's a day trader. Can't sit still. He starts to shake if he doesn't make a move every five minutes. All right, so we're playing against St. Louis here. Who do I know on the Cardinals? Let's see. So Manny Machado... I was with the Orioles when Manny Machado was... Uh, Basically in his first full season. So I got to play with Manny a lot in spring training. He actually didn't he didn't make the big league spring training his very first year. Started off in minor league spring training. And then someone got hurt. I can't remember who got hurt for us during spring training. But then we brought Manny up. And it was really weird actually. Manny dressed like the first like few days. He was like in like the auxiliary locker room all by himself. Like off in like this weird little tiny room. I don't know why they didn't just put him in the big league locker room. In spring training, but we started, we practiced a few days, and uh, you could tell like immediately. He was like 18 or 19 at the time. You could tell immediately that he was going to be a stud. I mean, he had an absolute cannon across the infield. It was, you know, one of the best arms I've seen. Um, but he's so young, and he just played like he was 27 as a 19 year old. 
And then uh, after a few days, they were like, okay, Manny, Manny, you can come out of the auxiliary locker room now and come hang out with the team because uh, you're going to be a future Hall of Famer. Maybe not a future Hall of Famer, but you're going to be really, really good. So come on over here. And I haven't talked to Manny, honestly, since I stopped playing. Um, but uh, he was super, super nice guy. I don't know if he's changed or is the exact same. But I really, really liked them when I was with the Orioles. Ladies and gentlemen, seemed very, very modest. Alright, let's play. Sorry. Here we go. Come on, Manny. Two ninety seven last year with thirty seven, one oh seven, and fourteen. That's pretty good. All right, Michael Waka. You got a four seam, a circle change, cutter, and a curveball. Likes a circle change. No, that's high. <laughs> Not even close, Manny. Come on. Yeah, so he's uh, so he's first round pick in 2010 player draft. Were they talking about Manny there? I couldn't really hear. I got the volume kind of low. Ooh, that's a good pitch right there. That way, Manny hung that one two breaking ball to me. Way to round it hard. Good work. It's a little one two curveball left it over the plate. Manny's excited. Two outs. Off on contact. Oh, Hosmer. Hosmer is definitely not going to be here much longer. Okay. Oh, I forgot I'm playing third base. I got really confused right here. Base is loaded. One out. If it's right at me, I'm... No, I'm turning two any, wherever it takes me. Oh, step on the back. Oh, Manny. Manny. Oh, God. I was ready to step on third and throw across, too. Stay fair. Stay fair. And a baby, Manny. The ball's crushed. Hey, Glenn. Glenn looks young right there. Did Trevor take over for Glenn? Now we're still getting killed. Boy, this guy's hot right now. Hit a bomb yesterday and hit another take Oh boy, here we go. Let's get a little bit more depth, Manny. A bit better range. It's not bunting 0-2. Is that real life? Nobody bunts 0-2. Andrew Miller. Actually, Andrew Miller, you guys might not believe this, but for some reason I rake Andrew Miller. I always saw the ball well off of him. And I've always hit him well in my, my whole life. What do you know? He's filthy, though. Don't want to be a lefty facing Andrew Miller. I know that much. Mm. <laughs> man, oh man, and the raking of Andrew Miller continues. If anyone else on this damn team could hit, we'd have a chance. Apparently, I'm the only one that can hit. Oh! Four oh seven. That looked further than four oh seven. 
Manny, have yourself a day. Who's pitching now? I don't know this guy. Four seam, slider, two seam. <laughs> oh my god, Manny! Oh, Manny, too bad you already signed that huge contract. At this rate, you're going to get paid $60 million a year. I'd sh yeah, I, I'd grab my shoulder, too. I mean, it, it, did anyone else on the Padres show up today? Did, is Manny the only guy that got dressed? Well, talk about having a day. Three home oh. runs in one game. We've heard about the hat trick. Upper deck. But it's awfully hard to do that in baseball. Manny Machado will stride in again as he I suggest you guys walk him. We take you back to earlier. Who's this pitching now? I can't pronounce any of these guys' names. Oh my god, that ball was there to crush you. I can't believe they're pitching to him. That ball should have been hit a mile. I cannot believe they're pitching to him right now. Nope. Sorry. Lock in, Manny. I'm those crazy GMs. Just because you go 4-4 doesn't mean you're not getting traded tomorrow. Just fighting that off. Tried to sneak a fastball by me right there. That was a non-competitive two-strike pitch. Oh, man. Got a guy hit three home runs and you still lose. All right, guys. So we know Manny can rake. I'm going to uh, sim a couple games here. Let's uh, let's see. I'd like to go play at San Fran. Never got the play there. How do they not have a... Guys, if I auto-fix that, is that going to, like, forever, like, just mess things up? No, how do I... How do I fix the minor league pitching rotation? Who did it say? The Chihuahuas? Is that what it said? I think it said the Chihuahuas. Starting pitcher, starting pitcher. So we have four starting pitchers. One, two, three, four. We need five. No. What's the matter? I'm confused right now. Looks like we have all the starting pitching we need. And I don't know how to fix this. No, it's not that. Just auto fix it. I want to sim to this game. Loss, 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 loss. Wow. Three and nine. Time to blow it up, fellas. I want to play this game. Play the game. All games in this day feature computer control. Okay, fine. Whatever. Let's player lock with somebody. Uh, let's player lock with Marte. Yeah. I'll play a little center field. All right, so we're playing the Giants. Never got a chance to play in San Francisco, unfortunately. I wish I had played against the Giants in, Sa in uh, San Diego. I actually played pretty well against them. 
I can remember my first game against the Giants. Matt Cain pitched for the Giants. I remember I, I let off, or I my first at bat, I hit a single in the hole. Omar Vizquel backhanded it, tried to jump throw and throw me out at first. I beat it out. Then I hit a double down the line against Cain. My second at bat, I think it was. Then I, uh, what else did I do? I got another hit that game. I feel like I had three hits that game. Wow, look, who's this? Is this Tatis working on his quick hands? Three, we're three and nine, but we're still working hard. I like it. Who's pitching for them? Oh, Samarja. Never faced Samarja. Watched him play at Notre Dame a lot. Football. Ah, 174. Come on. That's a pitch to crush. Get down, ball. How's Marte's speed? Can he steal? Well, guys, you know who your slump buster is. Come on, Fernando, 186. I am now a slump buster. Oh, wow, it's a big leg kick. Who was that, Crawford? Who's playing short for them? Got to run a little bit harder than that. Man, he's hitting 467 with eight homers. Yeah, I was going to steal anyway. What's my manager's name? Green? Is it Andy Green? I got it. Why don't we just tell everybody that I'm stealing? Clearly they know. They're picking, off, picking over every time. Jeff. Manager, I get it. I understand you want me to steal. I'd try to if Jeff would stop picking over every freaking time. Jeff, if you're going to pick over four times in a row, you might want to slide step on the next one. You pick over, pick over, pick over, pick over, and then go with a huge leg kick. Makes no sense. You clearly know I'm running. Go. Why would I slide when the ball's hit to the right side? Makes no sense. Eric, I'm paying you $25 million. I mean, I guess two homers at this point isn't horrible, but... Yeah! That a baby. Get that trade value up. Thank you. That away, Eric. Ooh, we got the play center field. All right. This right here, to be honest, the biggest difference, not the biggest difference, but one big difference between being in the big leagues and being in the minor leagues is this view right here. You don't get this view, obviously, in any minor league park. This is the first thing I noticed when I made my debut against the Dodgers is how big the stadium is. And so you just, you know, you're playing second base. Let's look at their lineup real quick. Who do I know in this lineup? Evan Longoria played against him a bunch. Uh, Buster Posey played against him a lot, both at Florida State and uh, where else did I play against Posey? Played against him a lot of Florida State. So like this view right here, how high it goes, it take it took like a little bit to get used to seeing that many like people and just. 
that ball's crushed. Three. All right, pretty good talk right there. Good work. Isn't that guy with that guy, that guy that just hit? Wasn't isn't he with the Rays? All right, we're finally in the second inning. We got the bases loaded. How do you say his first name? Cattell. Ah, man, that's a hittable pitch right there. Not gonna get a whole lot of those when you get bases loaded. Golly, that ball is right there to crush. Oh, that ball's there to crush too. What, what am I doing on those? Oh, nice piece of hitting. Get down, ball. Yes, read the ball. Go. Good read. Good job, Cattell. Is that how you say his name? Oh, I've never known anyone. This is the first Cattell I've ever met, so. Just call me a slump buster again. Fernando, you need me. I know you do. All right, we got second and third here. Got to read the man on third, see what he does on the ball on the ground. So that's a pretty good read right there. So the ball's hit. Basically on that, if the ball's hit to my left, I'm moving up. If the ball's hit to my right, I'm not. If it's a slow roller, I can move up too. We call it the five ways to get the third, to advance the third, or at least I call it the five ways. All right. Come on, Eric. All right, now we got to be ready to move on the swing here. Got to anticipate. Two strikes, two outs. Got to score and a hit. Go! Ah, hit the shit out of that one, Eric. Ah, let's go play some defense. Samarj is up. There's no way he's hitting me a ball right here. Wow, we're winning 5 nothing, guys. It's a miracle. What? Ball's a little down. Maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next AB. One and one to San Diego's leave. Batter. One ball, one strike. Five runs, five hits. No errors in the ball game for the Padres. Two balls and a strike. Good. Get your pitch. Get up, ball. Get up, ball. Yeah. That a baby. That's some oppo juice right there. Freaking stay on that ball away. Drive at 370. 104 miles an hour. Slump buster, Matt Antonelli. Boom. Never done that in my life. Unless I'm playing at Lake Elsinore, I mean at uh, Lancaster, California, where the wind blows out 75 miles an hour. All right, who's pitching now? Anderson? Which Anderson is this? I've got to make this guy a little bit more uncomfortable, not let him get those arms extended. I'd have to think about get down, ball. this guy inside it. Nope. Man, that was a high fly ball right there. All right, they're bringing the lefty in Peralta. Likes his changeup. What do I need for the cycle? They had triple for a cycle? Is that what he just said? I'm going for three, no matter what. If you walk me, I'm going to be pissed. 
I'm coming in glued on this pitch no matter where it is. Hit the right center field gap. There's a lot of real estate out there. No, I wanted. I saw the ball away and I just was trying to hit it in the right center field gap. <laughs> but I, I missed it by six feet. Nope. Okay, I know I want you to be aggressive because I want you to hit for the psycho, but like we can't just swing at everything. Oh, that ball's hit hard. The big leagues. Are oh my god. Never mind. I lied. This isn't the big leagues. Fernando, do I have to send you back down to Triple A? Man, they really had his number so far in this series. That's his fifth strikeout in this series. Alone. Full count, I'm running on this. Manny Machado. Runners on the move for second. Hit the other way out toward right field. Garcia makes the catch, and now they might be able to double him off the first. And they're trying to get back now. I want a replay of that to see if he's his foot's on the bag. Sorry, we won anyway. I guess it probably feels like a million years ago since they had their last win. But this six game losing streak. Look at Jack Flaherty. Shout out. Eight shutty. Only five strikeouts, but that's okay. Let's make sure we're still recording. Hopefully, I, um,. Hopefully I recorded the uh, screen. I hope I did. I feel like I might have forgot, but hopefully I got it. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's check in and see how everyone's doing right now. Yeah, we'll check the lineup here. All right. Luckily, Cattell found a, found a slump buster. Uh, Fernando needs one. Machado's raking. Hosmer's okay. Renfro struggling, Myers struggling, Hedges okay, I mean not okay, but Cordero, yeah, Scooter Jeanette, not great, Phillips, cold as ice, Eduardo, eh, and Allen, tell the pitchers are doing, Walker Bueller, 315, not bad, Paddock, not bad, Flaherty, Pretty good. Richard struggling. Lucchese struggling. All right, well, we are, uh, what's our record again? We're four and nine. Kind of going to plan. Things are going kind of the plan right now. Going to probably pull my pull the trade on uh, Olsen and Gallo. Let me know what you guys think about that, if you think I should do it or not. And uh, that's all we got. See you guys next time.